Hi everybody, welcome to a new series of tutorials. Um, this time I'd like to go through Lay R, a fantastic app. It's been uh, around uh, for a bit in the iOS space, but definitely probably one of the best um, multi timbre synthesizer out there for the within the iOS space. As I normally do in this first video, let's go through the uh, UI and the navigation inside Lay R. As I mentioned, it's a powerful um, multi timbre synthesizer, up to 256 voices, and it can go also up to 128 layers per instrument. So it's, um, it's really phenomenal. And it, that comes with also some complexity. Anyway, <clears throat> let's start to go through um, the navigation of the UI to get ourselves familiar. So as you can see, we have a party at the top where we have strips. This is an instrument strip, and this is the master strip. And then at the bottom here, we have a keyboards with some controllers. Here you can add uh, additional uh, strips, for example, another strip for another instrument, like so. And you can uh, uh, carry on like that. Or for each instrument, then you can expand to show what is the layer inside that instrument. In this case, instrument four has one layer, and then you can click add in a new layer. For example, create a new layer, duplicate the new layer, duplicate the layer with existing links or default links, which we'll go through later on. So, um, you know, and just to try a new one, here we go. That's a new layer, which we added in. Under each layer, then you can click on this arrow and this brings you in the, um, the layer editor, which you can also zoom in and out, of course. And we'll go through these in another tutorial. So <clears throat> let's go through, first of all, the master strip. Here we have a panic button in case you have uh, <laughs> hanging notes. Comes in this sometimes, particularly with a heavy set of layers. Uh, in what we call a performance because we are in the, what is called the mixer now here and uh, where we mix a number of instruments and uh, the mix of all of these instrument uh, is called the performance and you can load the performance here clicking on the button here is where you can load some of the performance for example massive and we close the button and that's what massive performance loaded again we have two strips if you see on the second one i expand the layers here we go we see four different layers for this particular instrument and we can open the first instrument strip and we find two layers there as well so let's add um, load something else like uh, an arp multi arp The ARP came with a latch function enabled, that is why you saw the keys in red here. Okay, so you can continue load uh, other performance here, or you can save your performance. Click on here, okay. You can save, import in a program, click cancel to, come, to go back. And of course, as you load the performance, you can export a program, you can append to an existing one and also initialize your performance, which brings you back to the original view like your default view and you can see here at the bottom of this master strip the name default that's the name of the performance so carry on this is where you set your settings uh, very cool so at the moment i set it to use 256 voices and uh, you have the audio buffer you have tuning lot of options which i'm sure we go through in more details later on <clears throat> and some of these are also reported here on the left hand side of the keyboard bar including for example the percentage of cpu usage here you have the virtual midi sources including um, bluetooth which will come handy if you want to connect uh, an external controller the fx is where we get access to the effect screen 
which again we'll look in another video. The latch, which I briefly mentioned, showed you a moment ago. This is where you have um, your uh, effective, effectively your arpeggiato. Uh, it's really powerful, and uh, we'll s we will dedicate an entire video to this one because uh, that is what it deserves, really. But you can do quite amazing things. And um, here we have uh, the access of to the macro control panel, where we can make changes in real time to uh, to the performance. Here you have your master volume up and down. You have your tempo here, which you can type and press OK. Probably would be good to see more option in the future there. And uh, here is where you transpose, you do a master transpose and you can enter the value there. In a similar fashion to the master strip, we have also an instrument strip, as I mentioned uh, a moment ago. Uh, the, this button at the top is to expand the layer. And this is where we can load a specific instrument. Okay, like for example, that one. And we can load it uh, directly in and then of course we can expand and see the layers which constitute that particular instrument okay here's where we can save it of course same concept as performances here's where you can select how to distribute your layers within the keyboard and you can also do cross fadings again we will dedicate a small tutorial to that in um, in the near future um this is where you can set your audio output this is where you set the where you receive your midi channel okay here's where you enable it for sound yes or no you have your mod your your volume and you have your transposition here as the settings again if you expand the layer here is where you can as we have seen earlier on add or the late layers this is to send to effect number one and two delay and reverb this is for um, um, your pan here we go this is where you can set if it receives or not pitch bend again if it sounds or not this is your volume and then again you have your uh, uh, transposition here moving on underneath here you have your keyboard settings so very simple to use some uh, stats in indication here um, reporting on the top left of your keyboard your pitch bend your modulation wheel here your, your keyboard in here then here we have the MIDI channel that you will transmit that the keyboard will transmit home this is the pedal effectively your sustain this is where you activate your um, uh, master MIDI controller mixer you can have it above or you can have it below like so and then you can close okay um, again this is your macro control panel which is accessible for that as well okay <clears throat> here is where you set your scales and we look at that uh, in more detail again in another video this is where you lock or not the scrolling on the keyboard if it's locked or not and ultimately here you can also adjust them um, the size of the keys so um hope you found this um useful first video uh, as always to get familiar a little bit with the ui and we'll start from the next one to go deeper on some of the functionality or uh, and the features of layout see you next time bye